What's going on guys? So I am in the shop right now because I'm about to shoot a video on a product that had a problem. And I'm not going to say that it was a complete failure, but I'm going to say it was definitely a problem that was worth bringing up and it's worth being aware of. Now, that video is not going to go live for a while, so just keep that in mind because I haven't even filmed it yet. But this is kind of a shout out and a request to you, my viewers. If you've purchased a product and that product has failed, now... If it's failed because you destroyed it through some type of negligence, if it's failed because you did something to that product that you know you should have never done to it, or you subjected it to something that you absolutely know it would be likely to fail under those conditions, well, I guess you could still share it with me if you wanted, but you have to understand how I'm going to respond and probably how I'm going to feature it if I choose to feature it. But going back, if you have purchased a product and you've used it the way that you believe it is intended to be used, and it failed on you, or it developed some type of, I guess, a failure point to where it would fail on you, let me know. Shoot me an email, btbrvviewers at gmail.com. Basically, what I'm trying to do here is I want you, my viewers, to fully be aware of and understand that I am absolutely willing and more, more than willing, actually wanting to do videos on things that are related to towing, towing safety, and maybe even some vehicle content. Not necessarily like if you have an engine problem, things like that. That's not necessarily in the scope of what I'm talking about. But accessories that you may have purchased for your vehicle, for your RV, for different types of scenarios related to RVing, towing, camping... Uh, basically towing, I probably would say is the biggest one. I am willing to feature those and talk about them if the failure is something that others need to be aware of. If it's a failure that could potentially lead to people getting hurt, lead to an accident, lead to major inconveniences, things like that, I want you to share them with me. Even if it's a product that my channel sponsor carries, eTrailer.com. I think most of you know that eTrailer carries products by Anderson, and I featured an Anderson hitch failing, right? I featured different things like that. But of course, I'm going to look into it. I'm going to try to get as much information as possible on whatever occurred, and I'm going to see if I can find out why it might have occurred and if there's a resolution to it. But more than anything, I want you all to know that if you have experienced a product that has failed under normal use, and it's a product related to towing, RVing, camping, or I guess anything within that entire realm of topics, let me know. I want to know, especially if it's a product I've featured, if it's a product that I've talked about. Now, I try to be very careful not to make any type of an endorsement or claim that something's not going to fail or that you could use it in certain ways and it wouldn't fail. I don't, I don't try to do that because I, I always know that anything that is produced by man or woman has the capability of failing. It has the capability of, of not working the way it was intended, especially the more you use it with heavy, heavy weights involved and dynamic loads and, and things shifting and being pulled down the road, going over different types of road conditions. But if a product is advertised to do that by the manufacturer and it's failed and it hasn't worked the way they claim it's supposed to work, or if it worked the way for a long period of time and then it eventually went out, let me know. I'd love if you could share those, those scenarios with me, what happened. If you have pictures and video, that would absolutely make a huge difference in terms of whether or not it might make it in a video on my channel. But I definitely want to hear from you. I want to know, again, if products have failed under normal use, under extreme use, how they failed, what risk it caused. Is it potentially something that others may experience? And, uh, you know, if it's related to towing and safety, I think it is definitely something that people want to hear about. Anyways, drop a comment below. You got my email. I'll put a link in the description if you want to connect with me there. But uh, again, just something I think a lot, of, uh, a lot of viewers would want to be aware of. And it's always good to know the expectations before you buy a product. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, now is a great time. Subscribe to the channel so you can watch these videos. Check them out whenever they go live because I have a feeling it's probably going to be a pretty popular topic. Guys, I'll talk to you again very soon.